This is the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway, situated in Worksworth, Derbyshire. It's known for its nine miles of scenic views between Worksworth and Duffield. This is Peak Rail, situated in Rosley, Derbyshire. This is also known for its stunning line that weaves between villages and towns between Rosley and Matlock. These two fantastic heritage railways are only nine miles apart, so surely that must make them rivals. Well, if you're thinking this, it's far from the truth because these two heritage railways have decided to come together to put on a first time ever event. So join us as we go beyond the tracks at both Ecclesbourne Valley Railway and Peak Rail at the Twin Peaks Diesel Gala. It's the 15th and 16th of April, 2023, and it's the weekend of the Twin Peaks Diesel Gala. And here at the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway, there's an early start this morning as the crews are getting the new loco ready that's come all the way from Barrow Hill. The Class 26007 is bound to be the main event here at the EVR. And there's just enough time for the team to have a quick bacon sandwich before it's time to depart. As the Class 26 departs for the first time down the Ecclesbourne Valley, let's take a trip and see what our friends are doing over at Peak Rail. There's another early start for the team at Peak Rail, as the first guests of the day are already arriving. And the event already looks like it's going to be a busy one for the team here at Peak Rail. It's lucky that the D8 is on hand this morning to provide the service between Rosley and Matlock. And today, Pete Rail are also running the Class 25 D7659. There'll be plenty of time for taking pictures later, chaps. Now get on, the train's about to leave. This seems like the perfect time for us to nip back to the EVR and see what's going on there. The next service of the day is about to depart from Platform 1, but there's just chance for us to have a quick word with today's guard, George. It's gonna be a busy day and uh, hopefully we'll see plenty of punters. So. It's interesting to uh, see how popular it'll be, but I think uh, there's something for everyone today, so fingers crossed. And trains aren't the only mode of transport here at the Twin Peaks Diesel Gala. Oh no, because we've got a couple of stunning vintage buses. These buses come courtesy of Valencer's Heritage Coaches and today there is a double decker and single decker ready to take guests between Worksworth and Matlock. The buses have been beautifully preserved and even include some of the original tickets and flyers from destinations they've travelled to. Well now, they can add Worksworth and Matlock to that list.
Back to Pete Rail now, where the train is just pulling into Matlock Station. which gives us the perfect chance to look at this beautifully restored LMS coach. Originally built in 1925 at Derby's Carriage and Wagon Works, this beautiful coach has been on loan from the National Railway Museum since 2003. And it's been lovingly preserved by the LMS Carriage Association. And here's a fresh face from beyond the tracks, it's Matlock Station Master, Jacob. Hello, I'm Jacob and uh, today I'm the station master at Matlock for uh, Platform 2. Um, but uh, around the railway we seem to do a lot of jobs, signalmen, firemen, uh, guard and just about everything else including the, uh, including the rostering. And how has the event gone so far Jacob? It's been brilliant, it's been brilliant. Saturday was uh, probably a bit busier. Um, but the connections from, from the mainline railway are, are fantastic. On a Saturday, where a Sunday they're a bit, uh, bit worse off. So. And what do you reckon to the vintage buses? Do you reckon they've helped join the two railways together? It's been very popular. It's, it's uh, you know, we've got a double decker and a single decker, and they're doing regular trips, and uh, it, it, you know, it's proved very popular, and I think it's gone a long way to uh, helping people get up between the two events. Really. Do you think it's important that we've got two heritage railways who are working together who are so close to each other when normally people would assume that there'd be a lot of rivalry going on? Oh, ab absolutely, yeah, yeah. We've, um, I think this is the first time we've done anything. Obviously, we, we've got a new general manager at the minute, which is, which is Mark Seeley. Um, and, you know, he came straight in and said, why are we so close together and um, why haven't we done anything before? And, it, you know, when you think back, uh, about it, it, it's something we should have been doing many times over, you know, it's, it's brilliant. Well, it's now time for the train to depart Matlock, and that gives us chance to return to the EVR for a ride up the Ravenstore line. This Press Steel Class 121 bubble car was the last of the first generation of DMUs to operate on the main line, withdrawing in May 2017. Today, the bubble car will be taking passengers up the short stretch of line known as the Raven Store. The line is often used for galas and special events, and it's a perfect short trip for enthusiasts to enjoy the 121 bubble car. The Raven Store line runs about half a mile from Worksworth Station and it has an incline of 1 in 27. And today it's Guard John's job to make sure this DMU runs on time. The Raven Store was originally used as a quarry line which had links to the Cromford and High Peak Railway, now the site of the National Stone Centre and the Steeple Grange Light Railway. It's not just the Raven store line that's open today, there's lots more to see and do around the station, such as the driver for a fiver experience, which always proves extremely popular. And there's the brand new ice cream stand open, with freshly produced ice cream from Matlock Meadows. And here's Bertie, our very own ice cream man, to tell us more. So we've got raspberry ripple, strawberry, mink chocolate chip, toffee, chocolate, and vanilla. So we do cones, normal waffle cones, and rainbow cones. We do multiple selection of pops. Apollo landlord and catering manager Sam has also produced a special beer along with Drone Valley Brewery for the event, known as Joined at the Hops. With only 60 bottles being made, it's flying off the shelves. And there's even a Peaks Porter, especially for our friends at Peak Rail. Speaking of which, let's head back there now and pay a visit to Darleydale Station. Thank you. 
And just like at the EVR, here at Peak Rail there's lots more to see and do than just the trains. Because at Darlydale Station, they've got their exhibition and information centre. In here there is a plethora of heritage items from throughout the railway's history. Such as vintage timetables and posters, information about what's been done to preserve this fantastic line, and a collection of whistles and pocket watchers from previous station masters. There's even the opportunity to look at footage from the railway's history. And there's even an opportunity to pay your respects to the railway's beloved cat, Fishplate. It's known that the station masters here at Dollydale wish Fishplate good morning and good night every single day. And we better not forget Auntie Wainwright's shop down at Rosley Station, filled with all kinds of railway memorabilia, from books to magazines to toys. Now I better get out of here quick before I end up buying the whole shop. Back to the EVR now where it's time for a ride down the line. As the diesels leave Worksworth Station, they'll make their way down the line through the Derbyshire countryside. This line is often known for its scenic views, and even more so around this time of year. This is the perfect opportunity to hop off at IJJ Station, which is right in the middle of the countryside. Once arrived at IJJ, it's the perfect time for passengers to get off and experience the Derbyshire countryside. As God John waves his flag, the train's on its way down towards Shuttle. And it's not long before a train returns from Shuttle to head back towards Worksworth Station. George and Ryan make sure that the platform at IJJ is passenger free and the train is safe to leave. And once it is, it makes its way back through the picturesque countryside, past the fields and flowers, on its way back to Worksworth. And as we head back to Peak Rail, there's a plethora of dynamic diesels running up and down the line. This Class 3 D2128 was lovingly refurbished. Restoration work started in around 2010 and didn't finish till around 2014. And it's thanks to Andrew Bridden but the loco is now here at Peak Rail.
the line runs between the villages and towns, between Matlock and Rosely. There's fields, there's houses, there's factories, and it really is a beautiful line indeed. This weekend, both teams have worked exceptionally hard to make sure the Twin Peaks Diesel Gala is a success. Both teams should be extremely proud of each other, as what they've achieved has never been done before. And just before the event ends, we managed to catch up with Ecclesbourne Valley Railway's commercial manager, Lee Gration, and Peak Rail's general manager, Mark Seeley, who shared their thoughts about the event. Hello. Lee. How do you think the event's gone overall? Well, this is the very first time that this has happened with Pete Rail, and I'm going to be very interested to see how it goes, to be honest with you. It really brings together the two railways, uh, the expertise that, that there are at the railways, and, and a newfound friendship. So I think it's really important that people come along and support it, and it goes really well. I'm uh, General Manager at Pete Rail. Um, I've been in post since uh, March 22. Um, and basically responsible for the day-to-day -day running uh, of what goes on. Uh, we've done a lot of changes since I've been in post. Uh, we've made the railway a wholly different place to be. Um, and we've made friends with people um, and the collaboration with the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway over this weekend has been just absolutely brilliant. One of the, one of the good things that we've got into and, uh, and started to do. Do you reckon that it's important that Heritage Railways now start to work together? I think this, under the current economic climate, I think it is essential that we do start working together. Um, and it makes perfect sense. Uh, Ecclesbourne works with is five miles over the hill. Um, we have strengths and weaknesses. Uh, Ecclesbourne has strengths and weaknesses and I think working together um, for the for the greater good of the tourism of this this area, um, I think is, is is definitely the way to go. And have you enjoyed the event? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Loved every minute. Yesterday was a, a real buzz. Uh, there was a lot of people. I think next year potentially we could look at doing a Friday and a Saturday uh, because it looks like diesel galas are sort of heading for Fridays and Saturdays. Saturday was a lot busier than today, but yeah, there was a real buzz, great atmosphere. Um, all of our crews just rose to the challenge. Uh, quite a few train departures from Rosalie. Um, and, and yeah, everything was, we started late in the, well, we started 18 minutes late at the day. We ended five minutes early. So it's really, really good. So yeah, really proud of the team. Um, proud of our newfound friendships with the guys at Ecclesbourne and uh, yeah, it's a good future really. Well, I think it's safe to say that this is the start of a new found friendship. And I believe there's talks of another joined event already on the cards. Thanks for watching this special episode of Beyond the Tracks.